עמנואלה עמיחי, שלום. שלום וברכה. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having us. We are so impressed with your play. I'm trying to translate it to English, correct me if I'm wrong. The neighbor's sorrow is deeper. The neighbor's grief is greener. It's even better. Yes. I you like it even better. It's, it's based on the neighbor's grass is always gr- uh, greener, so we have to do sort of a mix because it's... And first of all, I must commend you for doing a fantastic job. And I, I, I could also tell by the reaction of the audience. It touched them. And the question is why? Because basically, correct me if I'm wrong again, This is your homage to the American culture. All the symbols are there. Lucille Bull, Frank Sinatra, Marilyn Monroe, Mr. Sandman, and I can continue and continue. An American play? And a, a fringe? An Israeli fringe? I think these um, icons Are, um, I think they're international. I think it, they, we all know these icons. We all know Frank Sinatra, even in Israel. We all know Marilyn Monroe. We all know Mr. Sandman in one way or another. We all saw I Love Lucy, I think. Most of us did. We have it somewhere in our minds. We have it somewhere. Imprinted in us. Yes, in a way. Because the But American the language is in English. Yes, the language is English. And they... And basically, the actors, with a few exceptions, they don't need to speak. All they need to do is move their lips to the playback. Yes. Why, why English? Because English, I feel it has, it lets you relax and, and like accept anything. Hebrew is a, it's a wonderful language, but um, it has so many, so many layers in it, and it's, it's, it's In a way, I wanted it to the audience maybe to have a bit of a distance so they can relax and watch it as they're seeing a sort of a t- TV show or I, and I, because I also work a bit with the medium of video and so on, I think the performance itself looks a bit like a, maybe a TV studio. It has this sort of distance, like this two-dimensional thing. And that's why the actors are also having this dubbing. Uh, element in the in the performance right so I think it, it there is a lot of um, it's inspired by television it's inspired by film horror films sitcoms and so on and I feel that English is the language that we um, that we all know we all understand we can all relate to and still be distant interesting interesting. And you are very fond of fluids. There are fluids all over your play. There is, yes. There is one specific <laughs> fluid there. <laughs> Coming from a dry country. <laughs> yes, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Amazing. And it's very easy to notice that you come from dance. Yes, my background is dance. Um, and, then I, and then I moved into um, theater. And I studied film a bit. combination of them. And this uh, play has won uh, two awards, an Israeli one, a Polish one. You have been uh, touring with it uh, in a few European countries already. What about the States? Have you been to the States? Uh, not yet. We were invited to New York. Uh, hopefully next year we could I'm uh, sure you will. We could be there. Because yeah. this is uh, a homage uh, yes, for them. Yes, definitely an American homage. <laughs> I would like to ask you, Emanuela, when you look at the fringe scene in Israel, mm-hmm. how would you characterize it? What do you think about it? How is it doing as it is and compared to international fringe? Um, of course, I can only talk from my experience, but um, I think there is a lot of creative powers here. I mean, it's very, there's a lot of creativity, although it's not easy financially. Um, it's a battle. 
it's it's quite a battle. The struggling artist. It's a, it's a struggle. At its best. Yes, and uh, at, as compared to other states where you, I mean, Finch has its place. It has its budgets. I mean, it's you are you are more free in a way. Um, like there's free theater. It's called now in Europe or Germany. That's there's no more fringe. It's called the free the theater. The free theater. Yeah. We have ACO. We have ACO, that's right. The performance Supp supported, was, uh, was... Supported quite generously. Yes. Encouraging French. Yes, that's right. We have a very big festival, which the, the show was part of. That's why it won the prizes. Um, and I think 2010, was it? 2011. 11. Yes. I think it's... it's I think there's a, there's a, a big scene of French in Israel. There's also uh, Tmuna, where we are now, which is the center of French. Uh, Tmuna, we a, will uh, translate to picture, or in this case, moving picture. Yes, it's a, it's a combination of two words. Nice. That's right. Um, um, and there are a lot of creati creative powers here. I mean, people are, are people are doing, people are trying, people are struggling, people are working, and yet it's it's as you said, it's quite a struggle. And the outcome is fantastic. In this case. Thank you. <laughs> Let's talk inspirations. Who have been your inspirations? Who have this been work? your who have been your role models for, for your for art? Life? For your art, for your creation. Uh so many. Since I was in the States as a as a as a child, maybe that's also answering from a psychological side why it's in English, but I, I sort of been in different periods of my life in, in New York and I I grew up um, I mean it's, the American culture is I feel is also in a way part of it's part of a culture that I grew up in aside to the Israeli culture that's why I felt very free inside of it um, I am inspired by many things and people I mean I'm inspired inspired by performance artists I'm inspired by um, Music, the music that you see in this play. Um, there are a lot of inspirations. I mean, can we mention home? Are we allowed to mention home? A role model, an inspiration. My father. Yes. yes of course, I read his poetry. I read his poetry all the time. I think he's a great poet. You but I'm not objective. Yehuda <laughs> Michai. Yes. One of the fantastic poets that emerged from this country. Yes. Amazing. The grow the the, the um, more adult I become, I understand the the amount of layers in his poetry, reading even you know the same poets poems again and again and understanding each time a different layer. They have so much layers inside them. It's really. Yeah. It's and he was a magician of Hebrew. Of words, yes. And we just saw something in English. Yes, with hardly any words. I always say that it's like, a, you know, the, it's a paradox. <laughs> but, um, but I'm sure you will have uh, more fantastic works for us in Hebrew as well. Yes, I'm starting now a new project. And hopefully so here comes the question. Yes. First of all, what can we expect from Emanuela Amichai in the future, near and far? And the other one, what can we wish you? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start soon, uh, um, I think, but it's also movement-based. I usually work with images, and it's usually what's called visual theater. So it's, I, as not, not like my father, who words were his world, I see, I have movement and sound and image as my world. It's, it's not, Different. What can you wish for? I have one wish or like three? How many wishes do I get? As many, one? <laughs> as, many as you'd like. Um, oh, I just, I wish I, I it would be um, a bit easier in the financial part of working here and being like an independent artist. And that's like a very big wish. And of course, I wish my just to be you know, healthy, happy. So uh, we are joining you with these wishes, and we wish you even more than that. 
everything that you wish yourself and more. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Toda rabah, shalom. Shalom, shalom.